Welcome back everyone. We got this 2000 Ford F250 with the 7.3 diesel in it. Today we're going to be uh, doing some brake lines and calipers, pads. This truck's been jacked up before I bought it. I don't, maybe six inch lift on it, I'm not sure. I replaced these front hoses a few years back, but uh, it seems like every couple years the front calipers will lock up one side or the other. I don't know if anyone else has had this problem or not, but everyone I've talked to said that it's probably the hoses causing it and not the brake proportioning valve. So we went to Skyjacker, or well, actually we went to uh, Auto Anything and got the Skyjacker brake lines. They are stainless steel braided. A little over a hundred dollars for the for the pair but uh we're gonna do that today we're gonna change the calipers out on both sides get everything brand new pads so let's get her jacked up and uh, get these wheels out of the way all right we're back here on this f-250 so we got the wheels and tires off out of the way next thing we need to do is get in here and actually back these pads off by wedging them with a screwdriver because right now They'll turn a little bit, and these wheels haven't been turned in a while. That's why you see the rust on them, but they're tight. So we want to back them pads off, open these calipers up, and then we can start taking everything off of them. And all it takes, just a few taps on a hammer, with a hammer on a screwdriver. Just give a little bit of space in there, small screwdriver. Once you get that opened up, you can use a bigger screwdriver. And you saw how everything was tight before. We actually got a little bit of a play on here now. But anyway, we've got our little screwdriver jammed in there as pad. We're going to get ready to put this bigger one in and get that get that opened up for us. All right, we finally got this driver's side to break free. So we can start taking everything apart now on this. Now you've got the caliper and you've got the mounting bracket. Some places sell them as two separate pieces. So if you need the bracket, and the bracket is very important because the little rubber bushings in here have pins that free float, and that's what's supposed to let your calipers uh, relax after you let off that brake. So you got a bolt here to take the bracket, or take the caliper off of the bracket. If you remove this bolt, you're going to remove the bracket with the caliper. And we're going to change everything out, so I'm going to go ahead and take these bolts out and remove the bracket and caliper. And then we're going to take the old line off all the way up to here and swap them out. It's probably worth noting before I take these off, these are two different sizes. This is a standard this is a metric. So if you're just taking your calipers off but leaving your bracket on, you're gonna need a metric. And that is number 17. Fits if you're on. taking your bracket off, it's a standard. And it's a 13 sixteenth. So you got a standard on the bracket, metric on the caliper. Thanks Ford. We'll get these off here and get them swapped out. All right, so we've had some really bad luck on this uh, brake hose job, trying to switch these rubber hoses over to braided. The problem is, this is a 2000 F250. It's got a 99 brake hose setup on it, meaning that on the driver's side, you've got not just one, but you have two steel lines coming in to this rubber hose that feeds your caliper. So your rubber hose, or if you switch these to braided, needs to look something like this, where you've got a fitting that comes out the end and a fitting that comes off the side. Now, okay, we're back with the F-250. Disastrous brake line, brake hose, brake caliper. Just got back from O'Reilly's. We've got brand new calipers under warranty. Both sides. 
Uh, we so unfortunately, the uh, stainless steel braided hoses that I've got from Skyjacker through AutoAnything.com is not going to be used for the simple reason that you got to have a T coming off here. Now I did try and use this brass block assembly that's a, basically a T. The problem with that is it's all female, as you can see. Which is fine for this hose, or the line and this line, but the hose also, the stainless steel hose coming up is also female. So, just like the top of this one is. Female. But anyway, we've got another a hose put on. We got this at AutoZone. O'Reilly's carries them. Didn't have any in stock. Remember, if you're having trouble finding these for a 2000 F250, you might have them look up a 99 F250 Super Duty. But we got it installed. We got the little retainer clip back on here. Make sure you don't knock any dirt down in there when you're putting that retainer clip on. If you do, you might want to blow that out because you're probably going to have problems. But uh, we're going to get these lines put back on. We're going to get this one. I think it goes... I think it goes like that, if my memory serves me correctly. It could only go one way, but we're going to get that all reassembled. We've got our bracket installed, calipers installed, the pads are in the caliper. If you haven't taken these bolts out on your bracket in a long, long time, when you go to put them back in, put some uh, Never C's or Anna C's on them, on the threads. Doesn't take a whole lot, just put a little bit on there. That way, when you go to take them back out, if you ever have to, hopefully you won't have to, but if you do, uh, they won't be as hard to get out of there. So get this all put together and we'll go over to the passenger side and get that one put together. Let's talk about these clips a minute. I don't know if all vehicles use these. Uh, evidently the 2000 F250 Fords do and probably some other Fords. I'm, I'm quite sure use them. If uh, you've never done these before, you're looking at these clips going, uh, okay, which way do these go in there? This clip is properly installed. This tab is going to be to the rotor side and out to the outside. If you're trying to put If you're struggling and trying to put that in there that way and it doesn't quite go in there real easy you're probably doing it backwards but that's a really easy way to remember that is that the tab goes to the bracket side and out from the rotor almost every time and things will just pop right into place without any struggle and all they are is to hold your calipers or your pads on there I'm sorry your pads on there you know until you get the caliper on but same thing on the back side the clip goes to the bracket and out away from the rotor driver's side the same way got those on Pads go in just like that. These little wires that go on here. And they just go in the little holes. Real nice and easy. Shouldn't be. Oops. Uh oh. Well. Look at there. 
we had a boo-boo, didn't we? Alright. It's probably because I'm trying to do this one-handed. My wonderful wife was supposed to help me do some filming today. So I could utilize both my hands. But as you can tell, that did not happen as I had foreseen it. A lot of things today haven't happened as I foresaw them. I thought the uh, steel braided brake hoses would go on without any glitch or any problems whatsoever. That didn't happen. Can't even use them. I gotta send them back. That's why sometimes ordering stuff off the internet is a pain in the butt. But... So I'm gonna have to use two hands on this one. But uh, to get the caliper on. But that's how it should look before you put the caliper on. And no, I have not tightened these up. Once I get the caliper on, I'll tighten the caliper and then I'll tighten these up. The bracket bolts. Caliper bolts and the bracket bolts. Probably doesn't matter which way you tighten it, but I just didn't didn't want to tighten everything up until I got everything together. Be right back to show you the finished product. So we got everything back together on this side. I actually had to take the caliper back off because the little rubber bushing cover piece, whatever that's called, uh, dust cover, it keeps the pin that goes inside your bracket and actually allows everything to move back and forth, which is, that came pre-greased. Sometimes they don't come pre-greased and uh, especially if you just get the caliper and not the bracket. You have to grease those, but that keeps, it's just a dust cover is all that rubber is. But there's a little notch right here that it, it snaps over and it wasn't snapping over it. And if that moved, it's, it was going to allow rain and water and dirt and debris to get down in there, which would be another reason for your brakes to stick is because the pin doesn't have any room to move because it's all gunked up with crap. So that's done. I've actually started putting fluid back into the reservoir. Uh, reservoir went completely empty because I took both lines off the front tires and I had a partial bottle here. That's why it's not filled up. But once you get this full and you put that cap on for bleeding, do not let it go empty. If you let it go empty while you're bleeding your brakes, you're going to have to refill it and restart bleeding your brakes all over because you are going to introduce air back into the system. Get it up to the max line, then uh, put your cap on. And I'm gonna have to find somebody to help me to do some pumping on that brake pedal in there. Because you're gonna pump the pedal several times and then uh, hold it all the way down while somebody bleeds your brakes. So I'll be doing the bleeding. I need somebody to do the pumping. We'll get back with you. Maybe we'll try and do a little video on that. Okay, so we got everything put back together. We're ready to start bleeding the brakes. By doing that, you're going to have your trustworthy assistant with cute little shoes on, begin to pump the brakes about 10 or 15 times. And once they get them to where they start feeling like they're tightening up, they're gonna push and hold it for one final time. The bleeder's located on top of the brake caliper. And on these Ford, it's a 10 millimeter. You're going to very carefully loosen it and make sure all the fluid or air is out and it only has fluid coming out. It's very important that while you are bleeding the brake off, meaning this is open, that the person you have in the vehicle doing the pumping and holding the brake, they have to hold the brake down when you open this. They have to remain holding that brake pedal down until you close this back. That's very important, otherwise you're gonna suck air back into it.
but that's it we got her all back together make sure your reservoir is full after you bled your brakes out and start with the furthest break from your reservoir when you bleed brakes okay so an overview of our project on our 2000 Ford F-250 we redid the uh, new brake calipers brackets pads we got one new hose on we were attempting to put these stainless steel braided hoses on and we found out after we had ordered them and got them back that on the this particular model the uh, hose has a T coming off of it. The uh, line on the right comes from the reservoir. The line on the left, or on the top, I'm sorry, goes over to your passenger side brake. So, hindsight, we should have looked at that before we ordered the stainless steel. But we are still going to attempt to put stainless steel on. We're just gonna have to ship these back and get the proper one for this side. But that's the job. Didn't take too long, wasn't too bad of a job, pretty easy. Doesn't require very many tools. What would you use? A three quarter inch socket for the uh, lug nuts. A 13 16 for the brake brackets. And a number 17 for the caliper. A number 10 wrench to bleed the brakes. A couple of flat screwdrivers. And that's it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. If you liked what you saw, please hit that uh, like button. Hit that big thumbs up. Subscribe. If you have any questions, comments, concerns. I know she's a rusty girl. That's probably a big concern, right? She is a rusty girl. She needs a good paint job. But uh, hit me up in the comments section if anybody has any uh, problems with these hoses that I'm using right now. If they have any other ideas of why every couple years these brakes tend to lock up. Hit me up in the comments. Again, thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel, please. Hit that like button. Have safe journeys and a great day.